Hey guys and gals, Boston Joe. In case you didn't know it, that's what 42 looks like. You guys keep coming back for more. I love it because I'm learning more every single day. Shooting this intro to show you guys a little footage uh, that I did the other night while I was starting the header install. I had the garage clean, so I figured I'd give you guys a little garage tour. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to my wife Ann who puts up with me and my toys and she helped me start to uh, finish the garage last fall. Love you, hon. Damn, I realized I may not have enough time to show you guys this footage. I've got to get out there and clean up the driveway after yesterday's uh, snowstorm. Ah, uh, I've got an idea. Let me go grab a coffee to help speed things up. What is going on? So in the midst of, right now I'm kind of in the middle of trying to film uh, or basically set up uh, a series recording of uh, me installing the headers. And the first part of the installation was getting the, the vehicle up to a good working height. And, uh, you know, I've set it up with the race ramps and did a jacking video tonight. But I figured I actually just got the... Uh, the, the garage spotless. Uh, I'm in Massachusetts, so mind you, I have the day off tomorrow only because there's a nor'easter on our way. There's actually 12 inches of snow probably coming our way, so once I get all this garage clean, I gotta pull in another car um, and then get the, uh, let's see, the snow blower ready to go. Uh, because it's supposed to snow all day tomorrow, uh, basically starting um, anywhere between 4 a.m. and uh, and 7 a.m. So basically, uh, it's going to be a shit show tomorrow. So it's a perfect day. Uh, basically, I try to make sure I had uh, most of what I needed to kind of start the whole header installation so that maybe I can uh, get going while I get the day off from work, which is awesome. Uh, so anyway, back to the point of this whole video is I figured I'd give you a little garage tour since the garage is actually spotless right now and organized. Um, and I've got the car up on the 12-inch uh, the race ramps uh, flat stopper, so the thing looks freaking awesome. Uh, so that'll also be cool, and I kind of laid out the headers and the brand new insulated uh, tunnel plate that I uh, ordered from TPS Motorsports. Uh, so anyway, let's get right to it. Okay, here we are everybody. Uh, so I want to just give you uh, this little tour. The most obvious item in the garage um, which sets it apart from uh, many other is the race deck flooring. Uh, you know, I wanted the whole checker pattern look. And I went through, uh, you know, first I was looking at epoxy, but then I really decided I did want to go with the checker pattern, and you just can't do that with epoxy. Epoxy, by far, is, as far as maintenance goes, um, is the way to go. Uh, but if you want to do the checker pattern, I looked at, um, you know, like uh, tile and all that other stuff and all the prep. And if, if, if whoever built your garage didn't really uh, 
prep it for a perfect floor you're going to be leveling the floor uh, and doing all sorts of stuff race deck is a composite uh, kind of plastic tile that just kind of uh, snaps together and then with a reg regular table saw and top chop saw you can cut all the edge pieces and everything like that and any homeowner can actually snap this thing all together so I kind of decided that was the way to go um, you know it has its positives and negatives one is you get the look uh, that you kind of um, were looking for without having to have anybody install anything you know um, you know and then of course there are companies that do it but I'm very happy with it it does have um, you know a little bit it sounds different when you're walking on it because it's all it's like a raised floor and there's like a space in between the concrete and the flooring uh, I won't go into too much detail I could probably make a whole video on that fact but but anyway I'll put a link in the description I'm definitely uh, happy with the choice as far as what it does what what I was looking for um, I definitely made the right choice I know that now uh, there right there is second I guess uh, uh, that you can see is uh, my toolbox. I actually just picked that up. Uh, it's a, definitely a big upgrade from my original Craftsman um, box, which is overflowing. Every drawer is overflowing. Uh, so basically, I still have to cut the mats um, for all the drawers and then sort out all the tools from the small uh, toolbox into the big toolbox um, and then uh, I'm going to be probably trying to match this craftsman setup um, with a bunch of other stuff but this toolbox is as far as looks wise I think it's I, it's awesome it, and it kind of goes with everything in there and uh, it has the slow closed drawers um, you know which you, you obviously wouldn't get with a cheaper toolbox and you know it's for what it is, it is. I definitely uh, I like I like it a lot. They actually, it's funny. They built in a power strip, and it actually has uh, uh, powered USB ports, so you can charge like a telephone and stuff like that. You know. Uh, but I don't want to get too long-winded. Of course, there is the beer fridge. Uh, never, uh, never can have too much beer in the garage. Uh, and then, of course, it's great for uh, extra everything, you know, the ladders and everything. Today, we made the video, which you'll see probably later because I think I'm going to post um, this garage tour before. Uh, but there's a little preview of uh, the vet. We threw it up on the 12-inch uh, uh, flat stopper race ramps uh, just to get the working room to throw the headers on. So finally, it's going to happen. Um, and if any, with any luck with this snowstorm, um, I think I have everything I need. I did uh, want to pick up a nice creeper today, but Sears uh, doesn't seem to stock that stuff anymore. Uh, you know, it's almost like you got to order order the stuff online. You know, but so uh, I'm going to check out some other locations. But even even so, I could probably get started anyway. Um, there's the whole setup right there that I laid out. You know. And then, of course, the snow blower that I set up for tomorrow because we're in New England. Um, we've actually got a uh, 12 inch, uh, 12 inches of snow on their way tomorrow. Uh, but and it's part of the garage. When we did the renovation this uh, past summer, uh, what I did was obviously insulated the ceiling, threw some strapping up. I think I'm going to do acoustical ceiling just so that I can get to above um, to do some plumbing and electrical for the room that's above that may or may not ever get finished but just in case it does that's why the acoustical ceiling will go there so that I can get to it if I need to LED strip lighting uh, 5000 Kelvin so bright white which I love um, it ended up being uh, I found these at PJ's so there's eight there's four in each bay, and uh, it just bright. It, it just, I mean, you could see how much light is in the garage. Um, I want to say 
26 but geez now I actually got to uh, got to got to got to check back on that 26 or 36 bucks a strip um, which is super cheap when it comes to lighting so uh, definitely very happy that I found those but uh, and then when we did the uh, garage I uh, obviously we uh, wired it for the electrical and everything I do have a dedicated outlet uh, right there um, with a 20 amp circuit that is going to serve uh, well it was going to serve as a lift circuit uh, slash air compressor circuit uh, but we've kind of put the whole lift thing on hold uh, just because it's a big expense uh, to do at one time and thus that's that's also why we ended up with trying to do the race ramps type thing to do this this little header project is coming up but, but while I did the electrical I also wired the whole garage for surround sound so in every single corner um, I've got the Bose Acoustic Mass speakers um, and then I, I wired everything to a central location so that <coughs> the receiver is there and then of course uh, none of my uh, systems are complete now without an Amazon um, Echo or Dot and uh, so we threw a dot on this and, and piped it right into the uh, to the Onkyo receiver which then goes through the Bose Acoustic Mass speakers so that basically uh, you know while you're in the garage just doing anything you turn on that receiver and then you can just sp speak to Alexa so we'll do it Alexa open Pandora getting the last Pandora station you listen to Band of Horses Radio and then I've got a subwoofer down there I actually don't have the Bose subwoofer from using the Cambridge Soundworks subwoofer because I've separated some of the uh, the, the subwoofer from this set of speakers but Alexa off but you can see so yeah nice little uh, stainless cart that I kind of roll around for tools and stuff when I'm working on uh, cars mostly it ends up as a detailing cart Take it easy, guys. Over and out. Shooting this a little bit to introduce some of the garage. Oh, Jesus. This will also be cool when I kind of laid out the headers and the, uh, and the, uh, geez, I can't even remember what it is. All that just to sweep under the car. You know what the greatest thing about working in the garage in the winter time? Everybody's got their windows closed so you can turn the music up as loud as you want. Alexa, turn on Pandora. Getting the last Pandora station.